Hello everyone, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming, and today I wanted to go over something I've seen a few people ask me about, um, and just, uh, especially for those new to PC computing, uh, and even those new to Asus Armory Crate. Uh, so, I'm going to review what are called basically the different operating modes. So, I mentioned this in one of my other reviews, but this one is specifically for um, this device and also to cover the manual settings. So, um, first thing is if you click this little triangle looking button here, that'll take you um, into the command center. This button over here takes you into Armory Crate. So, if you look at command center, you've got 15 watt performance operating mode, 25 watt turbo oper operating mode, and you've got silent 10 watt operating mode. Now, the 10 watt mode is mainly things like web browsing, maybe watching Netflix, that kind of stuff. 15 watt is what you're going to use most of the time for most gaming. Give you a good combination of uh, battery life and uh, decent performance on games. 25 watt is for those demanding games that you really want to push. And if you have something that you want to push even more demanding, um, or even something that is uh, maybe running on an external monitor, then that's where the power plug comes in. So I'm going to plug this in up top here, and you're going to see our turbo mode. Well, it, go, it jumps back down to performance, but if we jump up the turbo, it's now 30 watts. So you're going to get more power out of the device if you're plugged in. So if you've got a really demanding game or something new comes out, then, uh, then that's probably a route you might want to go. But, you know, test it and see what works for you. So I'm going to unplug that again. Um, you can see it goes back down to 25 watt. So there is another option, and that is manually setting your TDP. So that's what I'm covering today because that's what most people have been asking me about. So if we go into operating mode, you know, go into your armory crate with this button over here. Uh, then we go into operating mode, you're going to see these different operating modes here, right? So um, we can change these and, uh, okay, sometimes it's, yeah, it's weird how it's jumping around there between the different ones. But basically this shows you your CPU usage, your performance. It's kind of a graph of what's going on. But what people really want to know about is the manual mode. And so this just tells you that these settings won't take effect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say don't show again because I don't really need that every time I come in here. So <clears throat> right here you can choose uh, from different manual modes. You could basically create new ones, rename this one. Um, I'm only going to have one manual mode set up on here. So we're going to go with that one. So you've got some options here, and it's not as simple as just saying set my TDP. That's what people assume they're going to be able to do, um, but the option isn't in here anywhere that says that. So uh, if you actually mouse over or just click with the controller these different settings, then you'll see it tells you uh, what they mean. So maximum sustainable APU power limit, that's what your SPL is, and what that means is how fast can it go consistently? Um, so, so there's a few different options here. This is uh, SPL is how fast can you basically keep it clocked on a normal basis um, versus, let's see, let's go up here to SPPT. Well, it's not highlighting it like I would like it to. Okay. Well, for the purpose of this one, we're going to do 18 watt sustained. So you can see that that's 18 watts there, and then I'm going to unclick it uh, with the B button here, A to manipulate it. So you see it lights up, and you can kind of change the wattage there, um, and then uh, B to back out of it and keep those settings. So um, this is very strange how it's kind of jumping around here. So uh, SPPT is, let me see if I can get it to stay on there for us. This is essentially a up to two minute burst, usually around 30 seconds to two minute burst. And that's how much can the device draw for a short period of time uh, in order to maybe tackle something extra demanding on the on the processor um, and, and APU, which is, uh, APU is essentially a processor and a graphics uh, unit all in one. <clears throat> so with SPT, you're going to say, well, how high do I want this to go for a burst of maybe up to two minutes? And if you can get it to highlight maximum APU power limit 
to sustain two minutes yeah so if you can get it to highlight then you can kind of see it tells you what it does but in this case we're gonna say okay well 18 but if it needs to push it a little bit then we're fine with going up to 20 you can adjust that to whatever you want but if you're trying to get a good balance for games uh, and battery life then you don't want to push that too high because then you might as well be running in turbo mode and so then you've got your FPPT now this one's going to vary a bit and might depend on how demanding your game is going to be so you can see this one is 25 watt and if you see we move that down it moves everything else down right so we'll have to go back and adjust those so I would say the max you want here um, would be 25 to 30 and that's really kind of your call uh, for battery life I would probably suggest 25 now this is just a short burst here this is like up to 30 second burst I believe so yeah maximum APU power oh no that one's 10 second burst okay so this is really just gonna be something taxes it maybe you're loading an area that kind of thing uh, and this is what you're gonna want to have set so we're gonna uh, you know this is only that extra power when you need it so it's fine with going above what we're at so we're gonna set this to 25 we're gonna set our sustain for up to two minutes to 20 and we're gonna set our SPL which are, is our sustain limit that it's gonna run most of the time so normally run at 18 watts can bump up to 20 for a couple minutes and can bump up to 25 if you really need it now you can push that all the way up to 35 if you want to you just have to be aware that if you do that it's going to run the battery down a little bit faster it depends on how demanding the game is uh, so anyway those are the settings for manual mode once you do that um, you can hit this little checkbox here and it says you know warning you're going to be overclocking do you want to accept any changes you made so yeah they're not responsible we get that all right so that being the case we've got manual mode saved now so we can go ahead and back out of this close that we should be able to go in here and see that we're at manual operating mode but if we want to go turn on our real-time monitor it's going to show our APU wattage now that is going to vary because we're not really doing anything right now so we're going to go ahead and start up a game I've already been testing a bit which is uh, Diablo so we'll go ahead and do battle.net I'm gonna cover it from personal information and let it load okay and so now we'll go ahead and go in here start our game and uh, if you haven't seen some of my other videos I want you to make sure you try and check them out. I do have a video showing the difference in the different BIOSes that are out right now. The older BIOS is actually faster. So, um, you know, I'm running that one. So if your performance doesn't match what you're going to see here, um, then you might be on the newer BIOS. And that one's a little bit tricky to change, but uh, there's, there's info on how to do it on another one of my videos if you want to check that out. So you can see right now it's, it's showing APU wattage of 19. So even though it doesn't look like it's updating on here, it says 15 watt, it doesn't show the actual number that we set in manual mode. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go into the game here and see what kind of performance we get. Okay, so in game here, give it a second to kind of stabilize. See our FPS is around 55 watts, and it's showing our APU wattage is closer to 20. And remember that we've allowed it to go up to 20 for up to two minutes. So it's just now loading everything in, so it's probably going to use the majority of that for right now. So we're going to go into our map. I've been doing all my testing uh, in Champion's Demise. So we go to Gerondi to get to that area and then we can ride over to Champion's Demise. Okay. Give it a little bit of sound, I just don't want it blasting. I noticed some other videos I had a little bit too loud.
So you see we're sitting around 20, so it should only sustain that for a short period of time. So it'll probably drop down here in a minute. Um, let me go ahead and mark my destination so I can get there easier. minions kill everything so we can get out of the way here and we're gonna go ahead and head in well I didn't realize there was someone to fight there there we go Okay, so we're in here. We're seeing FPS in the 60, 70 range. Pretty good. Remember, this is the original BIOS. It's BIOS 317. So this is getting us pretty decent uh, performance. Definitely very playable um, without pushing it quite as hard as the turbo mode. Now, turbo mode, I saw some spikes up to 90s, which is great, but um, this has variable refresh rate, which means that even if you're not running uh, the top speed, uh, you're probably still going to get very decent performance, and uh, it's, it's going to be hard to tell the difference between those. Now, I know some of you experienced gamers are going to definitely be able to tell the difference, um, but for the average person, they might not be able to. So, you can see in here we're getting uh, you know, pretty decent FPS. This is playing well, and we're limiting it. So... We're not stuck to 15 watts, but we're also not consuming the turbo mode power of 25 watts. So anyway, uh, hopefully this guide helps you understand a little bit more about how to do manual uh, TDP settings on your Asus ROG Ally. And uh, leave me a comment if there's anything else you'd like me to test or try. And I uh, definitely would appreciate a like and subscribe to help grow the channel. Thanks, everybody. Bye.